What do you do when you climb as far as you can but just never reach the top? You get back up and try again. England have participated in nine European Championships but have never won it. They reached the semi-finals in 1968 and 1996 but that has been it for them. England have never reached the finals of the Euro Cup and even though they seem to be favourites for this event, England fans won't be getting their hopes up. An example of England running out of gas came at the Nations League in 2018-19 where they lost in the semi-finals to the Netherlands. The European qualifiers, however, was smooth sailing for them, scoring 37 goals and conceding just 6. They would have been disappointed by the 1-2 loss against the Czech Republic, but Gareth Southgate's boys will have to put that behind them as they find themselves in the same group as the Czech. The loss was the only time Southgate veered from the 4-3-3 shape to the 4-2-3-1 formation. Southgate named a squad that is full of young, talented players. Usual first-team players like Kane, Maguire, Pickford were all included in the squad. There were some surprising exclusions though. James Madison and the man in form, Patrick Bamford, were not named in the squad. After a lot of speculation, Liverpool star Trent Alexander-Arnold was picked in the final squad, but an unfortunate injury in the practice game has ruled him out of the Euros. The Three Lions captain, Harry Kane, is one of the best English strikers for quite some time and won the Golden Boot at the 2018 World Cup, scoring six goals. Kane will be entering the Euros with high confidence as he won his third Premier League Golden Boot and also ended up the season with the most assists in the league. He hasn't won a major tournament with England given that the country hasn't won any in a long time. This is Harry Kane's moment to shine and rectify that record. Maguire is the one constant in Southgate's back three and will be hoping to have a similar tournament to Russia 2018. It was at the World Cup that Maguire endeared himself to the nation, particularly when opening the scoring in England's 2-0 quarterfinal win over Sweden. He continues to be an aerial titan, particularly defensively and will be key to England's European hopes. He had a decent domestic season which ended with a very unfortunate injury that made him miss the Europa final. Whatever the strategy, Garrett Southgate has the talent pool to choose his match winners. England captain Harry Kane is the obvious choice from whom the team will be expecting a sizable goal tally. Doing the tango with him will be Raheem Sterling. He's been a tad inconsistent for Manchester City but his place in the England lineup is in no doubt. Southgate has some promising talent to choose from. Jadon Sancho and Phil Foden top that list as of now. Securing the goal will be Jordan Pickford who will be returning from an injury. Despite questions about him being England's number one choice, he will in all likelihood get a chance to silence his critics. Keeping him company in the defence will be Harry Maguire, Kyle Walker and John Stones. All three have had their share of inconsistencies and Southgate will be hoping they strike form as a unit come the championship. Can Southgate and his young lads lift the curse and end up lifting the trophy for the first time? Let us know in the comment section and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.